To be the black sheep, the ugly duckling, another martyr of human nature. While they think wearing trendy shoes makes them different, you laugh, knowing that the truth unveiled is far from that, with a more intense taste. Because if you're not of their approved gender, appearance, mentality, personality, sexuality, ethnicity, nationality, religion, politics, etc., or way of life, until you prove yourself, you have to be condemned. If you don't think, feel, look, dress, eat, or act like them, even if you find some encouragement, you will be treated differently. Obviously, not everyone that recognizes your difference treats you badly. In many cases, you'll be treated specially well. And even if your difference seems fortunate, careful, everything that exceeds turns against itself. For better or worse, it all adds up and culminates to build up your uniqueness. With rarity comes value. Value we are often blinded from because we're desperate to be like everyone else and everyone wants us in their likeness. I'm you. This is my story. There's a price for everything even your being. They all cheer for the exceptional ones that inspire them and make them feel good about themselves. But if you're truly different, you live differently, seeing a different side of humanity that only you activate. You know the painful truth, the crime of being different. And until you learn to play the game and find your rightful place, life is times harder when you're pre-condemned, because unless they pity you, you're shunned, rejected, resisted, insulted, judged, criticized, blamed, punished, overlooked, never picked or invited, made inferior. The last one to know, the easiest things are so hard, kicked out from the door, game is heavy, Doors are shut. Even if they let you in, you'll be made special, all right? Until they find out that it's hopeless for you to be like them, then again, you get kicked out. Severe loneliness has to be the top price. Ever got so lonely you thought you are going to die? They're right, cause of death, loneliness. With this loneliness comes missing out on friends and friendships, love and relationships, fun and people, intimacy and sex. Sex has got to be second, the lack of it at least. Wishing, why can't I just be like everyone else? Disadvantaged, everything is so easy for them, they're lucky. Am I that envious of normal people? Look, they have it good. That's unfair. Disappointed in yourself and others and in life. You just want to avoid everything and everyone. Falling in the spiral of despair, you reach a point where you feel like it's a curse. You're cursed and there's no cure. Thinking I will never succeed or be happy because of this obstacle or that lack, this inescapable reality, the excuses you give yourself. Who is to blame? Is it me or them? Is it just a miserable fate? Is it all out of my control? I can still control how I think, feel, Say, listen, eat, wear, run, or develop. The biggest mistake we all do is that we think everyone is like us. As many similarities we have as humans, as many differences we have. Yet, still a lot cannot tolerate that someone is different than them. If you're not like me, 
You're my enemy. Even if they do, it would take decades of injustice and struggle to change this mindset. It was never a matter of good and evil. It's always been human nature. What's different than what I know, what I understand, what I think is right. What's familiar and comfortable. I have to rectify it. Why? Control, risk, and security. And of course, fear. Fear that you might replace me. Or I might be absorbed by you or not to know how to deal with you. This one, I understand. I know how to deal with and what to expect from. You're something new. You might expose me, make me look bad, or I cannot match you. So best to shut you out. Either way, I can't do this with you or get that from you. And you being different makes me feel bad about myself. That I'm not normal. You have to be like me. Or else I will misuse my power and channel my anger and frustration on you. Selfish, you say? They all care about themselves first, including ourselves. Even though nobody chooses, I didn't choose this. If I had a choice, I would choose to be beautiful, healthy, rich and smart, loved by all. Forcing someone to be like you should be your curse, not mine. You can do or be what you want. Don't expect me to be like you or force me to be like you. I'm not like you and I will never be like you. With such high price comes high value and eventually high rewards. Some gifts are special and they're not entrusted nor bestowed on just anyone. The spirit is trusted. Find the value of and in these gifts. You are unique, one of a kind. No one ever was you or will be you. No one else can do what you can do. You were built, made for this. No one thinks like you. Only you possess the skill, imagination, mastery, leadership, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Everything you are and what you've been through was a preparation for this. It's your destiny. To be of the truly chosen ones, never repeated in history. Glory is yours. Learn to be yourself. When, how, and where you use your powers and your weaknesses. Look at all the leaders, inventors, writers, all the great achievers who embraced their difference and produced works only them could do. Where are the ones who fit in the mundane, repetitive, a dime a dozen? You're the originator, the star, the hero. It only takes one person to change his or her world. And if they're not different, they're not different. You'll never be normal. Stop trying to fit in and act like you're like everyone else. You're not like them, pretending to be like them. I'm normal, just like you. Look at me, I do what you do. Who are you trying to fool? Their rejection or obsession was not enough of a clue. You're not like them. You're exceptional, extraordinary. You were entrusted with this for a reason. For better or worse, it had to be you. Believe in yourself. You spent your whole life trying to find it, just to find it was hidden in you. Accept your difference. Embrace your weirdness. The key is to learn how to use it. Accept them with their looks and actions towards you. They will behave the way they were created to behave. You need to know how to deal with them. The responsibility is on you. When judging, what we see now is the present and an incomplete version of it at that, not the past or the future. In that isolation, the loneliness gave you the time to regenerate and rebuild the dots. As for the lack of sex, the equation is very simple. 
the more we use this, the less we use this. And the more we use this, the less we use this. And when we get entrapped in the mindset of the victim, we fail to see the purpose and the big picture of the real why behind the struggle until we change it to the test and the tested. Nothing happens to anyone that he is not fitted by nature to bear, like Marcus Aurelius said. The strong make sure no one goes through what they've been through. The weak want everyone to go through what they've been through. And the ultimate loss is to become what you hate. To fight injustice, you have to taste it first. If you don't face it, you wouldn't care that much to fight it. Be the change. From all their attacks, I thought my difference was the worst thing about me until I realized it was the best thing about me. Without them, I wouldn't have a life. I would be unmotivated in the same level my whole life. And to make sense of it all, all the hard work, hurts and pains, loss and gains, mistakes and regrets, you only have one option remaining. Win.